We got him out of the car and helped him. I start hearing a beat. His eyes just got real wide. A potential hostage sent into the bank with an explosive around their neck. Something like this had never happened before in the history of the FBI. For being a small town, Erie has its share of bizarre events, but there is nothing that raised so many questions as this case. The call was made to the pizza shop at 1.30. Brian Wells drove to the site where the pizzas were to be delivered. The man told police that he was forced to rob the bank. But the FBI believed that whoever built the caller is patient and secretive. Brian Wells said he was supposed to go on a scavenger hunt. And he was supposed to go from point A to point B to point C, where the keys would be given him to release this bomb. This made worldwide news. The purpose of the pizza bomber plot? Money. How could this happen? Who's the mastermind? Please, what's your emergency? There's a woman that you might want to question. He's the one that did it. There was a lot of tips coming in, but no smoke and gun. We didn't have DNA, fingerprints. The bomb had wires that didn't mean anything to prevent the bomb squad from tampering with it. Do you make the bomb? No. Liar! It's a bank robbery, but it's a scavenger hunt. Guy has a cane gun, and it was actually loaded. Who put this in motion? I did nothing. Who actually said, hey, let's rob it back? She laughed about it. She said, I got away with it. Was Wells a victim or participant? When you have a bomb off to your neck, it became a diabolical game to them. 